Hi guys, it's Holly and I've got a sketchbook video for you today. So the last video that I posted up of me talking about my sketchbook had a lot of good responses. So I thought I would do an updated version. This is the sketchbook that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. It is actually the same as the one in my last video, but a black one. So this sketchbook took me about eight months to complete. I'm actually gonna just show you half of the sketchbook because it's so thick. Um, it would take forever if I showed you the whole thing, so I'm just gonna go up to halfway. I completed this between April and December 2017, and as far as possible, as I go through the sketchbook, I am going to include footage of the tattoos that I did using the drawings that I drew in the sketchbook. So you'll get to see a bit of what goes on behind the scenes from sketchbook into a tattoo. You might have noticed that I've got a slightly different background to usual, that's because I'm in my tattoo shop. If you guys have seen any of my updates lately, you will have seen that I have now opened up my own tattoo shop, which obviously I am really excited about. Um, this is part of the reason why I haven't actually been filming too many videos for you guys, but now I'm in and I'm all settled, I'll be able to start filming again. I actually filmed two more videos this week of like tattoo time lapses, so I'm gonna have them up for you soon. Um, I am sitting at the moment in my station at work. You can see my convention banner that I've like put up in my station and my cute purple uh, massage bed that I tattoo my clients on. And if you go over to my tattoo shop page, I am posting up a video there today of like a little shop tour. So you will be able to virtually come and have a look around the shop and see how everything's going. Um, I know people were asking me on my last video where my sketchbook's from and it's from Ikea. It just has plain paper inside. So these are some sketches that I was doing on the train one day. No reference, I'm just drawing them from my brain. And again, a little lady face there. Here's me sketching out a poster design um, that was kind of a commission that didn't end up happening. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of messing about with ideas. So this one did get turned into a tattoo. So I'm going to insert a picture of what the tattoo looked like here. And I'm going to try and do that as I go along, um, put pictures over the top of how the tattoos turned out if I use the drawing to do a tattoo. Um, this one also ended up becoming a tattoo. This is actually my stencil that I made, you can see it's on a piece of tracing paper, That's my stencil I made to make the tattoo. Um, again, these were for tattoos, just like little peony flowers, messing about here with um, trying to draw a rose. If any of you guys are interested in how I draw roses, I did post quite a in-depth how I draw roses tutorial, which you can find. Um, I'll post a little link below so you can see it. And so these ended up becoming tattoos as well. This was me just kind of messing about, growing some garlic and an onion, not quite sure why. Got like a little padlock and then inside are all like mandala-y, mendy kind of designs. And then the key hanging down needed to have a C on it because that was important to the person getting the tattoo. Like I think that had some special meaning for her. More peonies again. Ah, so this is, these are actually two separate tattoos. So this was just one piece on its own. And here, this is me sketching out a client's sleeve so that when she came in for a consultation, I could show her the plan. So this is like the outside of an arm. So this is the shoulder, elbow, wrist kind of area. And then this is an inner arm. So sort of inner bicep, inner elbow, forearm there, just to kind of show the concept quite roughly of how her sleeve was all gonna to fit together. These are a couple of little ankle tattoos that I did. And when I do things like this, I tend to just draw one half and then flip it. So I don't end up drawing the whole thing when I'm doing pattern work. Uh, this is me sketching out some little flash designs to take with me when I went and did Tattoo Jam in Doncaster last year, um, a tattoo convention in England. More roses again. A little, um, ah, now this is for a sleeve where the guy never turned up. So we'll just skip that page. This was for uh, a little teacup that I did with Mendy patterns inside. And again, part of a sleeve for a really nice client of mine. Drawing up designs for Tattoo Jam. This was a piece that was actually booked in for me to do while I was at Tattoo Jam. 
more flowers. You can see here that I tend to draw things up really, really loosely and like this is literally as much as I draw something before I take a tracing of it and turn it into a tattoo stencil. So I know my sketchbook does look kind of crazy, but um, that's kind of as much as I do. I kind of go from this straight to line work and to tattoo. This is for a customer that I had when I did a guest spot up in Chester last year. And these are background elements for a sleeve that I was working on last, last year. So in the foreground, it's all like trilobites, like ancient animals. And then these are all the background elements of the seaweed, which we're gonna color in all different colors as we go along. I think so far we've kind of got the whole sleeve lined and um, I need to color in all the background elements. So here is a little preliminary sketch for a painting I did for a friend of mine as a wedding present. And here's another little sketch of a painting, well it's a preliminary sketch that became a painting for a really lovely customer of mine who is getting married and um, I just wanted to do something nice for her because she's really lovely. Some little birds. Little mandala -y kind of pattern bird, again that's like part of a sleeve that I'm working on. Ah, this was me um, just sketching out a whale. This is for a guy's, it was his first tattoo and he had this on his chest. But we did this, like the whale here and then all of this in here spacey. So that was really fun. Um, I actually freehanded that whole tattoo on. So this was just me doing an initial sketch just so I could show him what I meant. Ah, now this one, this is for a throat piece that I've been working on. So... This goes like right in the middle of her neck, like as you're looking at her, like this is in the center. And then we've got this little guy on the side and then this little guy's on the other side. And she wanted me to add some wisterias as well. So these are the wisteria petals. So for this piece, I kind of did it this way and then um, pieced it all together when I made the stencil to kind of like make one long wide thing that then wrapped around her neck. Sketching out some birds. I think these were part of someone's sleeve as well. Um, I do quite a lot of like little birds and things like that because I love doing them. I think they make the cutest little tattoos. Um, little Julie Beetle guys. These uh, again are for a sleeve that I'm working on of like super girly peonies and then like pretty bugs and like all kinds of cute stuff like that. Ah, now this. Again, I think this is a piece that I ended up freehanding on the body because it was really big. So it goes all the way from this guy's hip all the way down to almost his knee. Um, but I just wanted to sketch it out first so that he could see it, uh, just to make sure that we're on the same page design-wise. Another octopus. This went on a lady's forearm. Um, and I think I freehanded most of this one on as well when it came to doing the actual tattoo. But again, I just wanted to show her something because I think otherwise if someone turns up for their appointment they're putting a lot of trust in you like it's nice to actually have something to show them so you can make sure that you're on the same page more little flowers that I was just sketching out this one ah this was a fun one let me get that fluff out this was for a thigh piece that I did um this was a lot of fun this I just did in black work so just all black and dots that was really fun Another little birdie guy. This was a specific bird and I, it has completely escaped me what the little bird was now, um, like what he's called, but it was for a really lovely customer and the bird was a, a special significant bird to her. So that was a really fun piece to do. Again, more patterny stuff. So with things like this, I just draw half and then I flip it. Like when I make the stencil, I do half and then flip it, do half again to make the whole thing. And then this is the rose that went in the middle here to complete the piece. Oh, this is a drawing that I did for a guest spot. So the customer requested flowers, like pretty peony flowers, but she wanted to incorporate mandala -y patterns as well. So I put them into the leaves because I thought that was quite a cute way of adding a little bit of secret mandala -y kind of patterns more flowers um this was actually a tattoo so i'm it's probably hard to believe but this is as much sketching as i do with flowers particularly 
before I actually would turn this into a stencil to make the tattoo out of. So I will try and find the picture of the tattoo that I did from this and insert it here so that you can see. More sketchy things. This was like a little heart that I did with like lacy patterns inside. These are some little flash pieces that I've got in my wanna do books. I, I think I still haven't actually tattooed these and I would love to. So if anyone wants to book in for some little cactuses, give me a shout, because I'd love to do those. A little travel inspired piece that I did. Um, so this was, uh, hang on, I'm gonna get this wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Mount Everest and this was base camp. They had all these little flags. Um, so this was based on my customer's photo that she sent me. And I just took some elements from that just as a kind of commemorative piece of the time when she went up a mountain. <laughs> More flowers, do a lot of flowers. Um, what have we got? Like a little cluster of peonies and wildflowers and stuff. And then this one is a sunflower and I ended up putting a like a geometric center in the middle. This was from a customer and I'm probably gonna get this wrong again, but she had come from either America or Australia, but yeah, that one's gone a long way to go back home again. So that was, that was a fun one. Little Fox. This was uh, my preliminary sketch for a big thigh piece that I did. And I just sketched it out roughly so that I could show my customer like the composition and how it was all going to come together before going on to completing the proper drawing. Lots of cherry blossoms. Now this ended up getting turned into a great big back piece on a customer that we completed all in one day like she was hard as nails um yeah she was an amazing customer she did really really well to get that big of a tattoo in one day all on her back so i will find a picture of that and insert it here so you can see but yeah it came out really cool more little birdies a fancy zebra this was a fancy little zebra in a headdress this was a lot of fun so we did a zebra with his fancy headdress on lots of little crystals and then flowers around the bottom and the flowers had to be particular flowers because they were important to her so we had lilies and roses and then i ended up putting some mandala pattern around here as well just to finish the whole thing off Again, this is me sketching out a back piece for a customer just so I could show her where I was thinking of going with the design and the composition because she had some specific elements that she wanted me to include. So she wanted me to include like the, um, the face and the posture facing a certain way and the lantern and holding a head and everything. So, And I also had to work around a tattoo that was already existing. So partly this was just to get my head around it and then partly just so that I could send it to her so that she could be confident I've got it right and obviously we're both on the same page and then I could go ahead and start designing the whole thing. This went on the back of a customer's neck like a little geometric bear and again because this was a symmetrical one so I just did half and then flipped it, did the other half. Another little scene. She wanted a red kite in there so I thought that was quite a cute way of incorporating the red kite. I did it as like negative space and then all the water and the trees and everything in there. A little cat. Oh, so this was actually based on the customer's cat. Um, so that was really fun. I love when I get to do tattoos of people's pets. I just think that is so much fun. So yeah, it's this little kitty with the little um, lily flowers. Uh, this was for a customer that it just sort of never happened, but I was excited about it. So hopefully it'll get picked up again at some point. But it was like a cluster of succulents. Um, and now I've seen this, it makes me think that I should probably do something with that drawing if I'm not going to tattoo it. Because I love it as a design. I think it would be really cool. So I think I will trace that up and put it in my want to do book. This was a big phoenix that I did on the top of a guy's arm. It was actually his first tattoo and it was massive. Um, so he did really, really well to get that all as one tattoo. We completed it in black and gray. More flowers, little peonies with like a little baby one there. Oh, this is, this one was a sternum piece. So you can see the shape here, like going at sort of under the bust. Like it's one where I'd flip it because I've just drawn half. And this is for a commission painting that I'm working on at the moment of the customer's doggies. She's got two dogs and this is her two dogs. So I'm looking forward to finishing up that, but that's kind of a painting that I'm doing in my, uh, my spare time. 
more patterny things. So this is another sternum piece, so this goes under the bust. And you can see here, this is where I flip it. Little samurai mouse. This was for a, oh, well, no, that was it. In the end, I drew up a whole sleeve's worth of stuff of like all these Japanese animals, um, like animals and food kind of inspired stuff. And then at the last minute, the client changed her mind and just wanted a smaller tattoo. So I've got a whole sleeve's worth of um, a little fighting mouse and I've got a little samurai bunny. The, the, the mouse was cutting up this daikon. Uh, yeah, so I drew all of that stuff up and then didn't end up getting to use it, which is a shame. So I should um, get those drawn up properly so that I can offer them to other people. This is what we ended up doing in the end. We did this little panda with this bowl of ramen. Um, which was so much fun. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed getting to do that. I love getting to tattoo pandas. They're so cute, right? Oh, another one for a customer who didn't turn up. <laughs> it was um, like a cat with a third eye, spacey, with like triangles and everything in the background. And another little sketch for a sleeve. So this is the outside of the arm. This is the top of the shoulder, um, elbow here, the wrist you can see as the design like goes down the outside portion of the arm. And then here as the design goes down the inside portion of the arm, we've got like a lady's face, um, a bird's skull, flower with peonies coming out. No, I, hang on, I got that the wrong way around. A peony with crystals coming out of it. Um, a little deer head which is existing because I did that a few months ago. And then at the bottom of her arm here we're going to do a little bunny rabbit in a teacup and then flowers all in between. So this was uh, this is for a customer who travels to come and see me. So it was just so she could get an idea of how the sleeve, sleeve was all gonna fit together before she came for her first sitting. Got a little baby fox here. This is for a customer who comes all the way from France to get her sleeve done by me. And this is from the first session. So she wanted a fox and then also a hedgehog. So I'll put in a picture here of um, how that sleeve's going so far. She's actually booked in again to come soon and we're going to work on it some more. So I'm really looking forward to that. More peonies. I do like a peony. Um, preliminary sketch for a couple of Pokemon tattoos that I did just to show the customer, just to make sure that I've got the poses and everything right. She was quite specific on how she wanted the poses to be. A little portrait of a lady's dog. It's a space dog, which I thought was so much fun. She wanted her doggy, she has a cockapoo, but she wanted him um, as a little space pup. So here he is in his little space suit. And then we did all space around the background. That one's not actually finished yet. So I don't know if I'll have a picture to put in here, but I will if I can. More flowers. I do a lot of pieces like this where it's like, little clusters of flowers and people will request specific flowers because they mean something to them. So I love getting to do pieces like that and incorporate special flowers for people. And like a nice way to put you in mind of people that you love. I think it's really sweet. Oh, this was for a commissioned painting that I did just before Christmas. Um, it was for a guy who commissioned it for his wife and he just said that she likes fluffy white cats and candles. So a fluffy white cat with a candle on its head and that was fun and then here we are this is the middle of the book so i'm going to stop here but these are the pokemon tattoos that i was talking about just a second ago so this was the initial oh, the initial rough sketch and then this is my kind of proper sketch that i ended up um stenciling up and turning into the final tattoo and i'm gonna insert a picture here of how the tattoo looks at the end once we finished it. So thanks for taking the time to watch my sketchbook video. This is actually just halfway through the sketchbook. You can see it's like a massive sketchbook. So when I finish the second half, I will do a video of that as well because it seems like you guys like my sketchbook videos. In the meantime, if you want to find me on Instagram, my name is at holly underscore astral or my shop page is at Gravity Tattoo Shop if you want to come and get booked in. And I think that is all I have to say about that. So I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.